hi yet another important video from signal sense systems and uh, for your series for your series one of the important fourier series in the exam point of view exponential fourier series of train of impulses how it looks like the train of impulses guys if it is del of t it's simply a single impulse it's like at at zero all right so what how does that train of impulses look like it's like this one like uh, extending from negative in with the t naught and uh, two times t naught extending to positive infinity and uh, negative t naught negative 2 t naught extending to negative infinity and what is the mathematical representation for this one it's a uh, x of t equal to del of t minus n t naught and for different values of uh, n so we need to have i'm sorry we need to have the summation where's that uh, it's a uh, it's x of t equal to summation extending n for different values of n negative infinity to positive infinity for different values of n so n equal to zero this will be this entire thing will be zero and we have del t which is del t and this one n equal to 1 so t, del of uh, t minus t naught a shifted version that will that that impulse comes over here and uh, uh, n equal to negative 1 so del of uh, t minus n i mean n will be negative 1 so that will be this one so this comes over here so this is how we represent the uh, train of impulses and uh, um, exponential Fourier series for this one. What is that expression? Exponential Fourier series represent the standard representation x of t equal to summation extending n extending from negative infinity to positive infinity c of n e rise to j n omega naught t. And what will be the expression for the coefficient? It's uh, c of n is given by c of n 1 by t, the general expression integral um, t naught 2 t naught plus t x of t into e rise to negative j n omega naught t d t these are the two important expressions and in this discussion we will come across another important uh, uh, rule l hospitals rule that's uh, limit theta tends to zero sine theta by theta that will be equal to 1 according to L hospital rule that comes at the end all right so it's suggested uh, not straight away the exponential Fourier series for this one but considering a square wave like this one square wave like this one um, here a square wave with this one like this extending from minus tau by 2 to plus by 2 and here where is the repetition here here carefully up to this up to this uh, this waveform repeats again after this after this like this repeats again after this like this all right so this will be complete uh, t negative t naught by 2 and this is positive t naught by 2 the complete time period of the waveform is um, upper limit minus lower limit that is t naught from this point to this point all right and the uh, waveform is valid between top and the amplitude being a what's the area over here area is uh, uh, like this is a the amplitude being a uh, height a and the width tau so area will be a into tau right so when a into tau is equal to 1 that's okay but this could be converted to an impulse how this could be this square wave this waveform can be converted to an impulse like making here by compressing this in the sense making tau equal to 0 I mean yeah this like this one this when this width is 0 with the same height that is nothing but the impulse all right in the sense yeah tau equal to 0 in the sense we evaluate the exponential Fourier series for this one all right we find the coefficient we find the coefficient and plugging we can plug in the coefficient over here 
but before i mean as soon as at the end of the uh, expression for coefficient cn we subject this one limiting uh, to tending to 0 and a to tending to 1 um, this square wave can be converted to an impulse even the same thing with the result all right so uh, making use of this in evaluating the exponential Fourier series for this one right so uh, in that case evaluating the uh, coefficient for exponential Fourier series how can that be written c of n will be equal to what c of n will be equal to 1 by t what is the time period over here 1 by t naught this is the complete time period 1 by t naught into integral uh, this waveform is valid only between uh, minus tau by 2 to plus tau by 2 all right and and x of t it's a between this it's a into the into this one what is that into this one e rise to minus j n omega naught t d t isn't it so we don't need this anymore because uh, i have written over here we'll have to get back to this one all right this 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 and all and what is that uh, a is a constant that comes out which can be written over here and uh, uh, the next step a upon t naught integration the next step integration uh, e rise to negative j n omega naught t upon this one this comes down isn't it minus uh, um, minus j n omega naught over here and the limits being minus tau by 2 to plus tau by 2 all right so plugging in that one a upon this as it is negative j n omega naught t naught as it is uh, plugging in the upper limit it's a e rise to we have positive so in the case of t no change over here negative j j n omega naught tau by 2 minus low limit e rise to uh, negative j n omega naught in the place of t we have this negative tau by 2 this negative and this negative becomes positive it's a tau by 2 all right so this is the expression so guys uh, this negative this negative will be here and this negative taking it inside this negative taking it inside uh, that negative will be appearing over here and this will become positive all right and now this is trying to say something this is very much a uh, standard expression this is trying to say something watch carefully e raised to j theta minus e raised to minus j theta which is similar which is equal to 2 j sin theta according to euler's identity isn't it once again e raised to j theta minus e raised to minus j theta is is equal to 2 j sin theta so this could be closed in that manner so which is equal to further the next step a and uh, t naught j n omega naught and this could be closed as as just now we have seen sin theta 2 times j sin what is theta here in this case n omega naught tau by 2 close the bracket all right so guys something gets cancelled over here it's a product it's a product so this gets cancelled this j j j this doesn't exist anymore this doesn't exist anymore all right this doesn't exist anymore and a small rearrangement over here this n omega naught will be written over here n omega naught this one this one this so t a t naught as it is all right so guys uh, um uh, this could be closed if we do some if we do some more arrangement over here this could be closed as a uh, uh, sin theta by theta so that we can make use of this one and that this 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 we can have a unity in the place of this one all right so this is entirely theta this entire this one this is entirely theta this is entirely theta and we need to have the same term over here we already have n omega naught n omega naught we are missing tau by 2 so we have this t all right this t in the numerator can be 
over here 1 by t so this goes up and that will multiply so with that one and something is missing tau by 2 tau is missing 2 we have tau is missing so tau into tau if you cancel this we have we this gets cancelled and this goes up and we uh, go to this expression only all right so now this can be here this entire a sign n omega naught tau by 2 by n omega naught tau by 2 sine theta by theta this is for the square wave this is for the square wave so what to be what to do to convert this square wave to an impulse so when this is when we reduce this one when we reduce the width when this is made zero and this as it is all right this as it is and when we make zero that will become an impulse in the sense what to do uh, limiting um, entire thing limit tau tending to zero wherever we found wherever we find tau si single tau individual tau that is tending to zero and a tau tending to one as uh, this one uh, go back to the previous sentences previous statements which i have given so with this one in the sense a tau equal to one here we find that a tau which is equal to one over here uh, let me save time i cannot rewrite this expression once again a tau equal to one isn't it a tau equal to one so this is left over so this is this is implemented now this one limit limit tau tending to zero we have zero over here all right and this will be zero with tau equal to zero this will be zero all right and even this will be zero in the sense sine zero by zero which is similar to sine theta by theta sine zero by zero limit limit theta tending to zero limit something tending to zero sine zero by zero this one sine zero by zero that this one this entire one this entire thing this entire thing will be equal to one all right so cn expression for cn uh, it's one by t naught why because this will be according to l hospitals rule this will be equal to one all right now as we plugged in as we did these changes this is the um, what fourier series coefficient for impulse okay we started with the square wave but we did these changes all right with these changes uh, the square wave will be converted to an impulse in the waveform as well as in the resultant all right so this is what um, the fourier coefficient of a impulse of a impulse and the final expression it's a x of t will be equal to summation and extending from negative infinity to positive infinity what is cn it's a 1 by t naught and e rise to j n omega naught t so this is the expression for the fourier what exponential fourier series representation of a train of impulses again it's a train of impulses yeah so this is the this is the expression you have to show thanks for watching